Hi, I'm Stephen Hand from Archery Supplies and today we're here to look at the PSE Expedite and I want to do a full review. Now I've done a couple of um, previews on this bow but today I want to take it through the whole gambit. I want to shoot it 18 meters, I want to shoot it through a chronograph with the low let off modules and the high let off modules that it come with but I first want to talk about this bow. Now the first thing I hear from people is you better to have a slow 10 than a fast 9 and that's probably true. And you can shoot really well with a low cost bow versus a high cost bow. And you don't need speed. Now that's also true. And it's a bit like this car behind me. Twin turbo. Do you need a twin turbo car? Absolutely not. You'd be more than happy with a Suzuki Swift. But it's your choice. You either want to drive a Suzuki Swift or you want to drive a twin turbo little sports car in the back. Now this bow is the latest and greatest. It's got your Evolve cam system here. This enables you to adjust your draw length and let off. And it's got a twin yoke system here to balance the limbs. Um, the draw length, sorry, well, let's measure the weight. The weight on the bow is 4.9 pounds. And that's with the whisker biscuit fitted and the five pin sight. So it's not a light bow, really up in the 3D target realm as, as far as weight is concerned. Now the bow itself shoots at 360 feet per second. Now I'm just going to get all these specs off. It's got a brace height of five and a quarter and 33 inches axle axle. So it's really aimed at your 3D hunter. So someone who's looking for ultimate inaccuracy. Now just on this bow, I wanted to tell you a quick story about one of my customers came in and tried this particular bow out um, brought it and about a week later he comes back to my shop and says Stephen I want to show you pictures of how well I've been shooting with this bow and he pulls out his camera sorry his phone and then shows me all these pictures of how well he's been shooting he said this bow is unbelievable I shoot really really well with it so I just made a trip to come to see me to tell me how well he's shooting with the bow Anyway, the, he's been shooting now for a couple of months and he's been in my shop numerous times and every time he comes in he tells me how good the Expedite is. Last week he came in and he said, I want to really try the low let off modules with it because he's used to shooting at full throttle. I said, okay, so I bolt screwed some low let off modules and he took went to the shooting range. So I followed him around to the shooting range. Now, I'm going to guess he's probably 65 years old. He is retired. If he's younger or older, like that's thing. I'm just, you know, his rough sort of age. He's an older guy. Anyway, at 80 meters, he's probably at 16 meters. He shoots three arrows, and all three arrows are touching. Now that's just with a basic hunting sight and no stabilizers. And I'm like, Jesus, that is pretty good. And he goes, That's how I shoot with this thing. He says, Unbelievable. He said, I've never had a bow like this, and that made me want to do this review on this bow because I was so impressed with the way he shot. It's all one thing getting a camera and going, oh look, here's my group. It's another to see someone shoot it and shoot it so incredibly well with no stabilizers on. I was like, man, you should be shooting competition with that bow. So, so that's kind of got me whole thinking about this bow and how fast it is compared to the other bows and how well it will shoot compared to the other bows. Now price point on this bow is about 1400 odd dollars. So it's not cheap, but it's not up there with the carbon stealth. Now for hunting, I would find this bow a little bit heavy to, to lug around the bush, which is why I did shoot the carbon stealth when I went for that um, 20 target field course. But it does have this new riser for added strength. Um, the limbs are the standard limbs that PSE use on all their models. Um, the brace height, 5.5 and a quarter inch brace height makes it, some would say, hard to shoot. But the PSC engineers say what makes a bow forgiving is the time it takes to get the arrow off the string. And the speed of these cams means this arrow is going to be off this string extremely quick, even compared to a target bow. So PSC would argue, successfully or not, that this bow will be as easy to shoot as their target bow. And that's what we want to test. So when it comes back to the whole concept of do you want a fast bow versus a slow bow, I don't see anyone winning any 3D shoots with a slow bow which is 10 to 15 years old. 
everyone in 3D shoots tends to be shooting a faster bow, even if it's a target bow, because the target bows these days are pretty quick. But this, this bow, the PSE Expedite, is really quick. And for hunters, it's going to give you, basically, you can be further out with your distance, and it's going to give you more penetration into the animal if you are hunting. So let's go and shoot some indoor and let's put this through, thing through the chronograph and let's see how it shoots. Okay, so we're here to put the PSC Expedite through the chronograph. I should be shooting 60 pounds at 29 inches. I'm shooting the gold tip velocities, which is what I shoot for all my shots. Now the grains, it's got a 90 grain point, they're gold tip 400s. Um, they've got a 90 grain point. I think they're 330 from memory. I'd have to check my other videos. Then I use the same point on all of them. Now, first off, I want to explain this draw cycle. Now, this should have... Oh, this has got the FL modules. The other, the other Expedites, this is the very first Expedite that came into Australia. The other ones that have come in have come in with the high let-off modules. This has got, I think it's called the fast let-off module, FL. The other ones have come in with the high let-off module which is definitely an easier draw cycle. So let's just have a, I'll just draw this back. So here it's sort of, that starts off pretty normal, the way all bows draw, maybe a little bit harder than an average bow, but it's pretty standard. So there, but now it starts to really pack on the weight. It's, oh, and that just lumps it lumps into the valley. Now, if you're used to shooting the Perform, the PSE Perform, or the Shoot Down, this valley just drops straight off. The Perform is generally the Evolve cam system on the Evolve 31 and 35, very smooth valley. This is the fast module. So this is the speed module, and this drops off. It's almost like a full throttle draw cycle. So we'll just try that. So pull 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 hard 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 then bang it drops off there's really no valley you, it just drops off bang there's no oh yeah this is the lazy I can there's nothing right it just drops off it's not as severe severe as the full throttle draw cycle but it's close so let's just put this through the speed machine That's 329. Now that's the, this is the fastest bow I've tested and I have shot the full throttle. Now my full throttle I have tested is at 28.5 inches. Um, maybe it's not 60 pounds and I can't recall the speed but I'm pretty sure this is the fastest bow I've tested to date. And we'll just shoot one more. I got some really fast speeds from some of the target bows too. I think I got some 320s. Um, this is a 329. Now that one was a 323. But it is getting darker and some of the speeds aren't calculating correctly, so... 329 seems to be... I've got that twice. I've got two 329s and one 323, so... Register. Anyway, it's fast. But the draw cycle on this is nothing like the Evolve cam system. It's nothing like the Perform cam system. This is more aggressive. But I bet you if I fit the high let off modules, it will be. Um, and that's one thing in this video I want to test. So I want to test the different modules and see how they feel and see which one I prefer. This draw cycle is a it's a draw cycle I don't prefer because when I'm pulling back pulling back when I get into that valley and it drops off my hand goes like that it moves so I've got to recite my bow where normally I'm aiming 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 I hit the valley I'm still aiming I'm still kind of in the center with this as I draw back and I hit that big valley 
my front arm will wobble. Um, doesn't mean it's not accurate, and I think I'll shoot some good scores um, with this bow. But it's just harder, it's harder on my shoulder. Is this the hardest bow I've shot? Nowhere near. Um, the other bows, um, the other speed bows are much harder. This is, you know, this is 60 pounds. I'm just grabbing another arrow. This is 60 pounds. It's definitely not as nice as the Perform to shoot. Um, see, it's all fine until you get there and then bang. And after the shot, it's beautiful. So it's only in that drop off when it comes down that valley so rapidly is the bit I don't like. And that's where these modules, you can just bolt them on and bolt them off with the two screws. You basically there and there, you don't need a bow press. There and there. You don't, like I said, you don't need a bow press, just screw on a different module. The modules are pretty expensive for this PSE. But, if it changes the way the bow feels, it's pretty good. There's no vibration, the noise is pretty good. Um, this bow has multiple sight pins, multiple sight holes, so you can move the sight up and down, um, which is all good. Like, I like the way this bow shoots. I really do. This, in many ways, it shoots better than the Perform, which I currently shoot for Target, which I really like. It's one of my favorite bows of all time. This bow is just so quick. It comes out, there's no vibration. It feels awesome to shoot. I'm just not that comfortable with that let off, so I want to give that a go. In fact, I like this so much, I'd really like to shoot some Target scores with it and see how it compares against the $2,000 Target bow that I'm currently shooting because it it feels pretty good and watching my customer shoot this bow in my shop without stabilizers and with a basic five pin sight and drilling those arrows next to one another I was like what could I do with a scope stabilizers on it um, and fully set up for target because um, he shot unbelievable so let's go and shoot some arrows with this bow um, and see how it goes and we'll get the different modules and we'll try that and we'll try them through the speed machine to compare the difference. Okay, so we're out here to shoot the Expedite with the fast low let off cam modules. Now since I've been doing this video, I've thought what's really good about PSE is the modules for the bows are all the same. So it doesn't matter whether you've got to perform, uh, perform 3D and Evolve 35 and Evolve 31 or an Expedite, it's the same module. So if you want to try a high let off, low let off, the fast module, it's the same module for all the bows. Now as a user you probably think, well why do I care? It means your shop, your archery shop, is more likely to have that module in stock. So I'm a Matthews dealer as well. Every Matthews bow has, has different modules. So it doesn't matter if it's a Helon 6 or a Helon X, it's a different module. So I have a box full of modules and I get phone calls all the time. Do you have a 26 and a half inch module for a TRX? Now I've sold two TRXs. And then you go search through this box to try and find the modules. When it's the same module, regardless of the bow, it just makes life a lot easier, makes it easier for the consumer. You know, there's not as many choices, it's, it's much better. Now this cam, even though it looks like a standard Evolve cam for the Evolve 35, it's clearly not. I've been shooting this morning and I shoot a low layoff module on the Perform and this bow feels completely different. This feels like a full throttle to shoot and, it, and I'm kind of thinking when I'm shooting this bow of the bows it reminds me to it. It's nothing like an Evolve 35 or Evolve 31 to shoot. This is like a full throttle. The Hoyt Defiant Pro Turbo, that's the bow I think of when I think of this bow. This is a pure speed bow. I think it's easier to shoot than the turbo, and I think it's easier than the full throttle to shoot. I think the bow is more comfortable to shoot than the full throttle and the Hoyt Defiant Turbo. Um, I think the draw cycle is easier. Um, 
and I find the boat better balanced. Now I feel the bow's a little bit heavy. I'd like this bow to be lighter for a hunting bow. I think the mass weight is a little bit heavy. But as far as the 3D bow, the weight's pretty good. So it's one of the problems when you build a bow, you've got to make a bow to suit everyone. Now I've sighted the bow in already at 18 meters and it's fairly windy today. So you're gonna get a fair bit of noise through the sound. So we're gonna see how the shoots. Now I shoot the same, same with all my tests I do. This is a basic whisker biscuit, a basic five pin sight. A VAP arrows that I use for target. These are just the sports, they're about $200 a dozen um, made up. Now one thing I did notice with this bow, and hopefully you're gonna be able to see it, when I line up the center of the riser here, the grip appears to be slightly to the left of that. I always set up my bows through the center of the grip. So anyway, that, that's what I do. So that's what I've done with this one. So when I look down the bow, down the center, the string is on the right hand side of the center of the riser here. I don't, I haven't tuned it, I've just shot it, so. So I'm shooting at 18 meters here. Oh, the other thing I will notice with this model, I don't know if it's going to be the same with like if, if you buy this model yourself. Generally, on the cables, the back cable is on the outside, is on this side, and the front cable is on that side. On this model, it's the other way around. So I don't know if it's been set up incorrectly at the factory or whether that's the way it is for this bow, but I'm going to say 90. I'm going to say 95% of bows, I can't think of an exception, the cables always cross over below the cable guard and the outer cable is always on this side, so yeah, I'm not sure if it's the setup's incorrect, I thought I stepped on the poodle, <laughs> but anyway, that's the way it is, there's still a big gap here in the cable, so it's not affecting anything, so there's no rubbing, but that's just the way it normally is, so... Now I find the bow very dead in the hand to shoot. Now I'm shooting a sort of relaxed grip, I'm not gripping the bow, the bow's not moving. I find the bow very quiet to shoot. As far as nice bows to shoot, the draw cycle on this is hard because it's a speed bow. As far as after the shot's concerned, it's as good as any bow. Now I do find, because it is windy, I do find in the wind I'm getting a bit of this thing happening, left and right. Now I'm not getting it because I've sighted this bow in. I didn't get in my practice ends. I didn't get any left or right. I got up and down movement. Um, but I do get a bit of this stuff happening when I'm aiming. I don't know if that's due to the wind, no stabilizers or whether I'm just shaky, but. shooting my sight pin because of the wind is moving from one side of the red to the other side I'm hopefully aiming the shot in the middle when it goes off so it is it is pretty windy It's a lovely bow to shoot. It honestly is just beautiful to shoot. Now, 
Okay, so these things here on the PSE are the most annoying things. You can see this one's already slipped down. I, I honestly don't know why they don't have... You can see this one here, It's maybe that's the way it's meant to be. To me it looks like it's pushed down too far. Not a big fan of, their, of the PC limb dampener system at all. I mean, I know it works, but it's just not, I don't think it's good. It needs to grip onto the limbs harder to stop the movement. Shoot one more. I mean, the other day I was going up to my mum's who's got a field course. And I wanted to take a boat. And I didn't know whether to take this or the Stealth from PSC. The Stealth is nice and light at about 3.1, 3.2 pounds. This bow, I'm sorry if you get the weight, maybe 4.7. I chose the Stealth because it was lighter, a bit easier to draw. Um, but I like this bow, I really wanted to pick this bow, but I was like, oh, the stealth is just so light, it's... I just love the speed of this bow and I love shooting it. Okay, let's go up and see where those arrows land. Okay, now this target is actually smaller than a 40 centimeter target. So if I do my finger wrapping test thing where I can wrap, get my fingers around them, I can't get my fingers around this group. Now, the group's not bad, but it's nothing, and when I say nothing, it's nothing like the customer who comes in my shop who puts all three arrows in a group like that with the same bow, basically the same setup with no stabilizers. So, maybe he's a better shot than me. Like, I certainly shoots this his bow better than I do. I felt like I was shooting okay um, when I shot it, so. Yeah, I feel like I could shoot this bow well. I shoot the full throttle well. Um, it is windy here on the out, out, outdoors, and like I said, my sight pin was floating around from one side of the red to the other in the wind. So that could be it. Like I'm not making, like, I probably am making excuses, but I feel like I could shoot it well. It does, it feels easier to shoot than full throttle, and I shoot the full throttle pretty well. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fit the high let off modules to this bow, and we're gonna see what this bow feels like. Now this bow is the original bow from the factory, so it's the first one we've been sent out and that came with the low let off modules. The bows that have come since have had the high let off module standard. So that's what we're going to try and see what it feels like. Fitted the high let off modules to the Expedite. Um, now I got these from an Evolve 35 because I had none in my shop because I thought all the bows came with high let off and I had to buy low let off, but that's not the case but it's the same modules anyway. So let's first feel the speed, speed. Let's feel the draw cycle, see how it's changed. And then we're gonna put this thing through a chronograph. Oh, so like, to start off with, this thing, with the low level modules, it was building so much quicker. At the moment, it feels like no poundage. So here, it's nothing, 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 nothing. Nothing, valley, 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 valley. It's, it's like this bow feels, feels like a rubber band compared to the low lot of modules. The difference, the difference is just unbelievable. 
it feels like an Evolve 35. And here I was just going, oh, this is like a full throttle. This is, it's like a Defiant Turbo. This is now like the Stealth I've shot. It's like a smooth, gentle, it's like an Easy Bow. It doesn't feel like 60, it feels like 50. Oh, you get back here and it's like nothing. look at the speed drop 299 feet per second so it's dropped from 329 to 300 feet per second now I don't know because I haven't got a bow scale here to measure the bow poundage because it feels it feels like the poundage has dropped because it just it's it's just easy 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 like Two eight seven. I wish I had the bow scale now. This feels like a performed shoot, which is kind of interesting because the perform comes with the low layout of modules. So you're taking the faster cam, you're fitting the soft modules to it, and the bow feels like the perform, but it's not even shooting as fast as the perform. That's why I feel like I've lost poundage. Two eight seven. Wow. It must have lost poundage. And what's going to be interesting is when we go back to eighteen, I'm not going to change my sights. So we'll see how that goes. Two eight five. It's getting slower. Interesting. The bow is so gentle now. It's through a module change. Absolutely fascinating. Like this bow is just so gentle now. Where before I was like, Phew. now it's like gentle, and yet with those modules on my perform, it's gentle. So it's like, wow, very, very interesting. Now the other thing I noticed when I was aiming just then, I was getting the wobble before with the fast modules. I don't get the wobble now. I don't know if it's just because it's so smooth, maybe the poundage is less. There's no wobble. It's just easy. So let's go and shoot some arrows and see how it groups. But what a huge difference in speed just by changing the modules. Now you can have that fast, what is it, the fast I'd rather have a fast 10, I'd rather have a slow 10 than a fast 9. You can have anything with this bow, you can have the fast 10 or the fast or a slow 10. Interesting. Let's go and shoot some arrows at 18 and see how it shoots with the high let off modules. Here to shoot the high let off modules through the Expedite and the speed difference was just amazing. Sorry. So let's have a couple shots now. I'm not changing my sight settings from the low let off modules. We're just going to get a feel for how this shoots. Like I said, it is windy, so I'm interested to see how this feels in the wind too. I don't think I'm getting 60 pounds. Now I'm knocking that shutter, so whether that shutter's me, because it's still quite windy, I'm not getting that shutter that I got before. My sight pin's still moving around the target uh, from one side of the red to the other, but I'm not getting the shutter I used to get with the high let off modules, and I think that's because I was less poundage. Both feels good to shoot. It 
with the high lift modules, the bow's an easier bow to draw and easier bow to shoot. It feels very much like the Stealth and the Evolve 35. To shoot, So as an archer, if you've got one of these or you're thinking about one of these bows, the Expedite, you'd really have to check both modules. So you'd ask to have a shot with the high let off and the low let off module. Because if you're shooting just sighted distances, you don't need that high speed. The low let off will be more than adequate and it's not going to... I can feel the difference in my shoulders already with these with the high let off modules, it's not putting any strain on my body at all where the low let off was, and I normally shoot 60 pounds, so... You can probably see I draw this bow back so much easier with the high let off modules. The let off, to me, the valley feels shorter than the Evolve. Um, I feel like I like this bow better than the Evolve with the high level modules. I've got no idea where the arrows are going. I can see that low on the target, but I don't know how the group is, so... Look, if the, if, if the poundage is under 60, it's not much under 60, because I'm still shaking around like an old lady. Um, I do prefer these modules, I prefer the draw cycle because it's softer into the into the valley. But giving up 30 feet per second, oh, I don't know about that. Especially for a hunting 3D unmarked distance bow. That's such a difference, 30 feet per second. One more. It feels much better on my drawing shoulder. And to me, I, so last year I owned a stealth and I owned a full throttle. This bone now feels like the stealth. With the low let off, it feels like the full throttle, so it's like I get the best of both worlds, which is kind of a bit weird. It's not as light as the stealth, so but the draw cycle, it's pretty good. So let's go and see how that grip is. Okay, so I normally have the grip test where I try and wrap my hand around the arrows, and I can with this. Now this group up here is extremely tight. That's like so much tighter, this group here. I've got two down low to the left which were touching. I reckon they were my first two. I could be wrong because I can't see the video. But it's just the feel. Now I don't know if that was me shooting two down, but these this group is tied and those two are tight. So I've got two groups. Um, definitely I shot better with these can with these modules than the low let off modules. And I think that's just about being comfortable with the poundage. I think I was shaking too much with the low let off versus the high let off. And I found exactly the same thing when I was shooting the Perform. I was shooting the Perform 3D at 50 pounds and I was shooting pretty well with it, even with um, two stiff arrows, because I was shooting 350 spined arrows with 50 pounds and I shot a good score. Then when my Perform came in, which is a 40 inch bow, 
which you think, well, that's even going to be easier to shoot. Actually, I found it harder to shoot because it was a 60 pound bow. So that was just me shaking a little bit. I'm not shooting too bad with it now, but it's taken me a couple of weeks to kind of get used to it. So I think the grouping is just me shaking around and moving. I feel, I feel like the wind was about the same, maybe down a little bit from the first end with, with the low let off. Um, but it's still, it was still shaking and that group is, is pretty good. So overall, I'm pretty happy with that. And I think if you're gonna try this bow, try it with both modules and and basically have in mind what you're looking for are you looking for that fast bow are you looking for a smooth shooting bow and what i like about pse is by just grabbing a module you can change the complete feel of the bow you can go from having a nice target shooting bow um, to having that pure speed machine if you want to do 3d field archery and then when you want to put your target side on and shoot some spots for indoor, I mean, fit your low let off module or your high let off modules and go and do that. Um, but overall, the Expedite is pretty good. I'd like, like, like I said, my only points are I'd like the bow to be lighter. Um, I like the overall finish of the bow, the colors it comes in, it comes in black. This charcoal colour, it comes in the uh, mossy oak breakup and the cryptic um, colour. Now we did drop this bow in the store when we were shooting and we hit the concrete. Um, so that was that height there and that's that little dent on the side. It hasn't, it hasn't dented the cam, it's just made a little mark on the edge of the cam. So overall... I am pretty happy with the PSC Expedite. I like it. I think I probably like the Stealth more, to be honest, but I like this more than the Full Throttle. I've had the Full Throttle now since the day it was produced, and before the Full Throttle, I did have the Omen for the entire time. So I've had a speed bow in my, in my group of bows that I shoot for seven years. I feel like this bow is better than the full throttle. So as far as wanting a speed bow to shoot 3D, this would be my pick over the full throttle. And also the adjustability, like the draw length adjustability, the let off adjustability, and then you've got the module adjustability. This just makes this bow so much more practical than a full throttle or the Hoyt Turbo. Um, I'm, you know, the other bow obviously is the, the other speed bow is Bowtech, they've got a speed bow, but it's really not like this to shoot. I mean, shoot them and compare them, but this is far, far better. Um, yeah, very good. Nice, a nice, a nice system. I think that's, I probably had something else to say. Oh, the other advantage of this over the Stealth, which is the last point I was going to make, two-piece quiver bolts on there and there the stealth you can't I like a two-piece quiver I'm a big fan of two-piece quivers for hunting um, it keeps the arrows close to the bow it keeps um, the weight down I just like a two-piece quiver this bow I can fit it with the stealth I can't stealth I've got to fit a one-piece quiver so as a plus for this bow over the stealth two-piece quiver versus one piece Probably not going to be a big factor for most people because they fit a one piece anyway or use a hip quiver for hunting. So yeah, but that's the major points I can think of. I'm Stephen Hand from Archery Supplies. Enjoy your shooting, enjoy your day and um, have a good time. Thank you. Bye.